Okay, welcome back guys and girls. So today's topic is about a recent killer rebellion that is happening on Dead by Daylight. So if you're not aware, there's a campaign going on by a few YouTubers and streamers and it's catching on in the DVD community groups and forums. So basically this is saying that all killers should be taking a Mori into a game until the developers remove DS from the game on effort. Now I just want to discuss about this and generally some of the toxicity in the game. Firstly, people do like the toxicity and love the dramas that come with it. You can probably see that in some of the videos that have been put on. Um, people, you know, if you check uh, Dead by Daylight Toxic Survivors or Killers, you're going to find huge, huge channels, millions of views on this. I get this, I'm subscribed to most of these channels and I do find the content sometimes hilarious. However, it does have an effect in the community where basically you have copycats and extremely entitled survivors and killers likewise who hang on to this and feel they should be winning every game. If they don't, they always blame the game. They blame the game, they blame the developers, they blame the perks or they blame anything that basically takes away from the fact that one, they either haven't had the best of games or two, the opposite team have just performed better. It happens, it happens in all walks of life, it happens in sports, you know. So people can have off days or just meet the match against superior players. Maybe luck's gone away, either team. The, the good thing about this game is so many variables to winning and losing. We know DVD is a game that punishes mistakes from both sides, I think. Um, I understand that players are having a bit of a rebellion against certain survivor perks or add-ons. I, I personally dislike keys. I've not made a secret of that. Uh, but likewise, the killer main, I also think Maury's are very overpowered and spoil the game. So basically, I've made this video on the day that the developers brought out a new patch. I'm really happy with the changes that are making. I believe there was a few broken maps. Gen speed could be an issue too. However, what I don't want to happen is suddenly everything to go my way and the game being easy. The reason I still play this game is because of the challenge it gives. Yeah, sometimes I have a stressful game, and I've heard that saying a lot. Of people are like, it's not fun, it's stressful. You know, most games are stressful. You, pl and, you know, when you are playing in a competitive mode, you are going to get stressed. It happens. You know, I've used to play FIFA before. Did I get stressed when I got beat? Of course I did. Did I get stressed when I was playing against a superior opponent? Did I get stressed when things weren't going my way? Yes, of course, that's the nature of the game, but tell me in real life what, you know, you can't relate that to anything else. Um, you know, if the game was easy, if I was winning every game, if I was just walking through all the teams, not a problem whatsoever, then... I'd end up not playing this game anymore. I'd find something else to play with. So developers, they've, they've got to have a very tough, tough task on their hands. So basically trying to cater for two different sets of players. Um, in amongst them two sets of players, they've got to cater to, what, 20 different rank stylings? Or we, we, even if you use the colours, five colours, is it? Four or five colours? Um, so they've got to cater for all of them. Now, is it balanced at the moment? I would say so. I know that's not that's going to be frowned upon, but I would say so. The thing I don't like at the moment is Survivor Friends. The reason why I don't like it is it's just sometimes it feels like no matter what I do, I can't win these games. But then, you know what? Sometimes I've won against Survivor Friends. Sometimes I haven't. That's just how it goes. That's just the nature of com the competitive element altogether. So, even though... I haven't won. Has it kept me coming back to keep playing? Yes, because I want to get better and I believe playing these teams has made me get better. Uh, the reason why I don't like Keys and Maury's, because people are going to say, well, you mentioned Keys and Maury's, is because um, they finish a game before the objectives are completed. So this is why I don't like them. So to complain about a perk like DS, I believe, is completely missing the mark. So what they're claiming it's a free escape perk and I just I just don't get that guys uh, I've, what I, what's happening a, a scenario I can think of is I have unhooked someone's been unhooked at the very end gates are up and they've went near the gates I've downed them again they're the only survivor left around the friends have left I know they've got DS I know they've got DS and there's not much I can do because they're going to crawl out anyway I'll pick them up is that class to the free escape you know what I'll probably need to look at what happened in the rest of the game for me to get in that situation um, you know you watch all the top 
streamers, all the top top YouTubers. I know I watched another video yesterday, uh, Sean Ott, you know, complaining about it. Now I've watched a lot of his videos. Uh, him and True Talent, I watch a lot. Um, and when they're playing, they're expecting they're expecting the DS. You know, they're playing against high caliber survivors. They're playing it. If you watch some of them. If they're down the person again, they'll turn around and say, especially true talent, he'll say, oh, this guy's got the yes, I need to hold out for this, and he'll leave him slugged, you know, and that is a waste of a perk then for the survivors, so you'll see survivors running into a locker, you know, I've just, normally I'll just leave them, it could be mind games, survivor runs into a locker, make me think he's got the yes, you know, if the game's going my way, I'll pull him out that locker, or her, you know, I'll waste that DS, that's fine, I'll take the five second hit, the game is going well for me. And this is what I think these people are missing the point. So now we've got a lot of people jumping on this bandwagon, so this big killer rebellion is starting. And all that's going to happen is you're just going to stop survivors from coming on, you're going to end up having longer queues. Um, over a perk, you know, a perk that's added on. There's a lot of perks that are really good for killers. You know, uh, is there any that give you free kills? Of course not, but that's the same as DS. I don't class DS as a free escape. Um, you know the consequences as soon as you hit someone again after 60 seconds. I know people say, oh, well, don't tunnel, but it happens. You know, you might have a teammate who does a really bad save um, right in front of you. You'll hit that the, the one that's running off or they'll hide and you, you'll, you'll only find the one that's been unhooked and you hit him. Now the options are there, you either leave him on the floor or you go take his DS off him and that's it, it's gone for the game. So it is completely missing the point guys and, that, and that's just my opinion. I know, you know, when I'm saying all this, I'm the one of the main channels has got some like 45,000 subscribers. Yeah, I get that, you know, the guy's got a lot of followers, he's going to get a lot of people agreeing with him uh, he's gonna get a lot of people disagreeing with him when I've when I've looked at the comments not everybody agrees and the most important thing is you know it is ultimately just a game it is just a game now for these people and I get that these content creators it's a livelihood things like that but they're not doing too bad you know I've watched a lot of them still getting you know hundreds thousands of views some of the millions of views um they're showing us how to play the game and they're teaching people how to play properly like i mentioned true talent you know he's teaching you yeah this guy might have ds don't pick him up you know i'll leave him down or let's waste his ds and that they're adapting to the game and that's what uh, that's what you have to do rather than go oh we're going to do a rebellion because all that's going to happen is the developers it'll punish either side uh, the developers aren't going to sit there and go, oh well, you know, everyone's bringing Mori's in, we'll get rid of DS. No, they'll probably get rid of Mori's. So, you know, have a think about it guys, and let me know your thoughts. Definitely, you know, I mentioned this in the community, so what I've done, you've seen the film, uh, the video playing, it's basically been times where I've actually let where the opponents leave, I've let some people have been the victim of matchmaking and I can tell by the game and this is what I'm saying about a challenge, I didn't take any great pleasure out of going right I need to get a four man here, I got my point, I knew I'd done well in the game, um, let them go, you know, let them get, get some points, let them go and after it the amount of messages that I got um, from survivors was just so nice, you know, GG, thanks for that, all oh, these blood points, I appreciate it, I'm gonna, you know, uh, thanks for letting us go, you know, the game was over, there was one game, that we've just missed it, but uh, three of them escaped, I did deep pip in that game, but you know what guys, I actually sat there and I thought, you know, these guys have outplayed me, they've outplayed me in the game, on a map that I'm, that I'm really good at as well, and uh, they outplayed me, so the only way I was going to get that second kill was by camping that hook, and I just sat there and thought, you know what, is it worth it? Is it worth it just camping the hook, or shall I just turn around and say, right guys, I take my hat off to you, you've outplayed me on this game, uh, 
you could could still leave with three players. It very likely could still do that because they were very coordinated and organised. However, I'm not enjoying just standing here staring at a killer and trying to scare you off that hook and just trading on the hook. Uh, let's get this game finished. It hasn't gone well for me, but I'll give you you know a bit of a clap and let yourself go, guys. Yeah, get out get out of here, and hopefully this catches on because. You'll enjoy the game more. You definitely will. I've enjoyed it more. Um, I've enjoyed the fact that I've still come up against competitive teams. Has all my games been involved with letting people go? No. You know, I've still come across the assholes. I've still come across the toxic teams. And that's my challenge for me. This is what I get. I strive off trying to kill lo those guys. Uh, but for the nice players, you know, and players that, like I said, are a victim of matchmaking... Um, just give them a little help and hand, see how it goes. So, hope you enjoy the videos, guys. And l I do appreciate it, but uh, you know, comment below. I will reply to you. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think. Am I way off the mark? Is this Killer Rebellion a good thing? Is it something that should be happening? Is the game massively unbalanced as people claim it is? Drop it in the comment, let me know, and I will respond to you. Alright, and don't forget guys, if you do enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, uh, press that subscribe button, and share it out. Let's share it out. I've put a couple of hashtags on there after speaking to a few forums. So we've got Detox by Daylight, where we get rid of the toxicity, and Wholesome DBD. So share them around. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Bye.